This next feature uh, is called hypergamma. Hypergamma that we want to talk about. Now, this is not for your live coverage of news. Uh, hypergamma is a feature for the very courageous kinds of guys that are committed to doing a little bit of post-production after the shoot. In, in that respect, it's very akin to shooting film. OK, why is it akin to shooting film? What's so cool about hypergamma? Verge, can we get a hypergamma slide up? Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, now, these, the hypergammas, number one, are going to make it very sort of one touch, very, very quick to match up the gammas in an HDC camera on an F900R and on an F23. All the, if you wanted to use this HXC100 as a B camera for any of those, you absolutely could. But what is, what is hypergamma? Um, the one I really want to focus on here is, is the second bullet point there, extended dynamic range. So you remember, we're going to shoot something akin to film. We've committed to doing a little bit of, of color correction. What is this hypergamma going to do for us? Well, if you're in an environment, particularly outside where there's heavy sunlight, maybe you're at a concert, right, where there's a lot of dark and then a lot of extremely bright spotlights and color lights and you know, the kinds of things that lighting designers like to get wild with at, at concerts. Maybe there's some pyrotechnics that are going to affect things. That creates a, a need for a camera with an extremely vast dynamic range, right? You've got severe, severe highlights and you know, completely muddy lowlights. The hypergamma in the HXC100 allows you to avoid sort of clipping or compressing the extreme highlights. Uh, so let's say, f just for the sake of numbers, you've got, a, a lighting from, you've got lighting values from 0 to 100, 0 being very dark, very black, and 100 being sort of overexposed, very white. Okay? And the normal dynamic range of a camera would be something like, oh, I can capture maybe from 5 to 80. Well, if you're going to extend your dynamic range to get extra details in your highlights without sacrificing color, you know, you're not oversaturating your whites and you're not just sort of muddying up the blacks, your dynamic range is going to stretch so you don't have that abrupt compression when the light reading gets above the 85 that your camera can handle. Okay, you've, you've increased it from 5 to 85, you've increased that range out from 0 to 100. This is achieved by, rather than doing harsh, extreme compression or clipping at the top end, applying a sort of gradual compression from the low ends, from the zeros, all the way up to 100. OK, that's, that's really boring. Let, let me give you the exciting part, all right? You're going to have a slightly more washed out image across the board at the, at the benefit of extreme detail in highlights and shadows that you, you would never have been able to capture before. You would have to do your dark shots on you know, one take and your highlight shots on the other take and, and just sort of do what you could with them. But if you're committed to doing so, sort of cinematic production and, you, you're welcome, you know, and you, you're welcoming the idea that you're going to have to do a little post-production to make your colors pop, you can get all of the information, all of the resolution out of an extreme varied light situation by activating the hypergammas in the HXC100. All right, this is helpful if you're shooting sort of a serial. This is helpful uh, if you're shooting outside and the lighting conditions are uncontrolled. And, uh, and again, you've got a, a, a great engineer and a great colorist to help you out with your post-production later. All right, very exciting stuff, yeah. Uh, let's move on to something that is a, a little cooler, all right? What we've got here is one camera. But as I've mentioned a couple times already, this is just one player in a badass multi-camera high definition situation. MMA fights, boxing matches, uh, news events, multi-camera cinematic shoots. You can have an engineer sitting in the truck match up several cameras at once using this CCU. All right, um, And in the HXC100 system, it's a point-to-point -point relationship. So you're going to need one CCU per camera. No, no, no big deal. You kind of expect that. And to, to get into the controls of the CCU, to get menu settings of the camera, to activate or deactivate your hypergammas, to get into your multi-matrix and, and match your John Deere greens and your Coca-Cola reds, you use one of these beautiful devices. This is an RCP750. Uh, there's also a 751, the difference being joystick versus dial control. No big deal. There are a couple of other sort of paint boxes that are compatible with, with with this CCU, but the reason I want to show you the 750 is right here. Memory stick, all right? So you've got five cameras on the set, and you want them all to look the same. You're doing very high quality, well-produced, high production value multi-camera production. You can't settle for one camera being a little off on the greens and one cam camera being a little off on the reds. So you hire yourself a badass engineer that's going to sit and paint your cameras, 
But in order to save on your setup time, you take one camera, flash it back to factory defaults, set it up, get in your multi-matrix, dial up your reds and blues, um, make your gamma decisions, make your, your knee sloping decisions, and really dial up the look that you are after. Once that's done, either on the camera or on the RCP750, insert a memory stick right into this card and save your scene settings. Right? This card can then be used in the other paint boxes, or if you've got a guy walking around on the set, in the other cameras, to load up the exact same scene file. And it may not be exactly perfect, but you are about 99% of the way towards matching cameras. So the, the setup time you're saving by not starting from scratch from camera to camera to camera is immense. You, you can really set up 10 cameras in the time that it would take to set up two if you didn't have the memory stick feature to save your scene files across the different cameras. Any questions so far? Tom, we got any questions on the internet? I want to know more about the HXZ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're just overwhelmed. It's too awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it can be overwhelming. <laughs> All right. So um, these are the two cameras that I had to present for you tonight. Um, we're, we're pretty psyched to have our, our tech up and running. Uh, you may have noticed this one went off with completely without a hitch. If you're interested in doing some, uh, you know, some internet broadcast of the highest quality yourselves, you want to get yourselves into this dot studio, you want us to get it done on location, we can actually definitely make that happen for you. I want to say a couple quick hellos to some of our favorite internet viewers. We've got Danny in New York. We appreciate you guys logging on every time to see us. Um, it's always a pleasure to have you. Be sure to ask Tom a lot of questions. He loves it when you guys uh, chat in and have something to say. We've got a couple of special guests in the audience. We've got Tony Rambola, SSE from Sony, and George Nunez, also from Sony Corporate. These guys have helped us out a lot with, uh, with our demo gear and, and really training us on it. We are now prepared to handle all of your questions. Uh, and of course, if anything comes our way that we can't handle, we've got the resources to rely on, the guys that know the answers. Um, on my cameras today, we've got Scott Lenter, Jonathan Hill and Ricardo Valdez. Thank you guys for running the cameras. On our audio board, Miriam Valdez. My technical director, as always, is Virgilio Castillo. This man is amazing. Uh, we got Tom Morton from On The Spot Tees, who does our t-shirts and our web chatting. Um, once again, everybody, millions and billions of internet viewers, thank you for tuning in. Live studio audience, you guys have been great. Come see us again third Thursday of next month. We'll have some more exciting stuff for you. This has been The Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller, broadcasting live from The Dot Studio. Thanks for watching.